Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to get this episode going. We purchased this three-piece mid-century modern set on Facebook Marketplace for $100. We got a steal of a deal, but the best thing is the profit that we make in this video is pretty awesome for the amount of work we put in. There are some scratches and chips throughout on these pieces, but there, there's nothing seriously damaged. So that's pretty good. The first thing we want to do is take some warm water and a bit of uh, soap. I'm just using some degre degreasing soap. And we're just going to clean up the full piece before we do anything. I guess now is a pretty good time to let you guys know that we are not painting or refinishing this furniture. We're just going to clean it up. And I'll show you a couple tips throughout the video to make this wooden furniture look as good as possible to make the best profit possible. As you can see, the water is getting pretty dirty, so that means we're getting some grease off this furniture, which is good. After degreasing and wiping the entire piece, well, all three pieces, I am using this little air blower thing. So if you have a air compressor, you have an advantage on me here. But this worked pretty good. It got the dust out around these corners where I couldn't really reach with a cloth. And I just did this around three of the pieces. If you're new here guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and the bell notification so you don't miss out on my future flips. After I finished blowing all the dust out, I just used a soft brush and went around the same corners and just got rid of the rest of the dust. This trade secret touch up marker is what really brought this set back to life. All I did was take the marker and draw, wipe, whatever you want to say, over the damaged areas that were exposed wood. And once you color it in, just I'd wipe my finger over it. Because the best thing was that the marker wouldn't stick to the areas that weren't damaged. So it would just darken the light wood areas and then it would just wipe right off. Look how nicely it works on this completely chipped edge. Not that it completely removes the chip, but it blends it in much better than what it looked like before. And it just cleans up the overall look. So I go over three of these pieces of furniture and find any places I can use this marker to make this look as clean as we can. This corner chip in the veneer was kind of peeling up, so I just grabbed some wood glue and we place it under here. And then we just lay something on top of it so it dries nice and flat. Finally, we are done with the touch-up marker and we have this furniture looking pretty nice. So now we just need to take some stage photos so we can get these up on the Facebook marketplace so we can start making some money. I did take the middle support leg off because the photos look much better without it. So now I am taking a bunch of photos. So I set up each piece one at a time and just go crazy with my iPhone. That's all I use for my photos when I list them on Facebook Marketplace. I do edit them in Lightroom on my phone, so Adobe Lightroom, just to lighten up the photos and make things look as good as possible. Also, I did add photos of any chipped damages and other damages just so the buyer is aware of what they are buying.
Alright guys, so this is news to everybody. I ended up getting a storage unit so I can store these big pieces I have. This set and the black set I just did in my latest video. But I need the extra space in my garage so we can paint some more projects together and make more videos. So we have a storage unit and that's where we're taking this set now before we can sell them and we can let them sit longer and we can ask for a bit more without having to reduce the numbers. So I think having a storage unit is going to pay off pretty quick. I'll be honest, lugging heavy furniture around by yourself is not easy. Finally, we got everything in the truck and we are ready to take it to the storage unit. My camera did die right when I left, so I didn't get the full process of me throwing it in the unit, but I did grab a couple shots on my phone. So, we get it thrown into the storage unit, we get the photos posted online, and now we wait until we get some people that are interested. Okay guys, we are meeting up with the first potential buyers here at the storage unit for the mid-century, um, like the chest of drawers, the smaller dresser. So we are just showing them to the storage unit. I'm gonna go do some last touch-ups with the marker and hopefully we sell this thing. They're looking at buying actually the dresser and the bed. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get this deal done. Okay guys, we just left the storage unit. We sold the dresser, the tall dresser, and the full bed set, and we're looking at 450 cash, so can't complain there, guys. I'm pretty hyped on that sale. We still have the large dresser, and we're only $100 into this project, and barely any time, so we're looking really good on this project. Okay guys, we are on the way to the storage unit. It is 10 a.m. I'm meeting someone there who is interested in the final large mid-century modern dresser. I have it listed for $3.95 and I think they're interested in a small delivery fee where I'll just deliver it curbside to them. So hopefully they want this now. Okay guys, so she's gonna buy it. I am gonna deliver it to her house now. So I'm gonna throw it in the back of the truck and let's get out before the rainstorm begins. Let's go guys. Woo! Almost lost ya. Oh shit, sorry guys. Did not try that. Okay guys, so we just sold the large dresser and I delivered it for an extra $20. So I had it listed $3.95 reduced and with the $20 delivery, that's $4.15 she e-transferred me. So that's a pretty good deal for a, uh, for a full set that I got for $100. So now we sold the full set, $415 plus $4.50 we're looking at 8 865 or not profit 865 total minus $100 we're looking at $765 profit for maybe 3 hours of work that's pretty good uh, pay per hour anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this crawler mid century modern furniture flip I enjoyed flipping these three pieces and making some good profit. Let me know what your thoughts are below in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now to update you guys on the black French provincial set we did in our last video. We sold the nightstands for $175. We still have the two large dressers so hopefully we can get them sold pretty soon. But anyways guys thanks again for watching this video and I hope to catch you next time.